Hello and welcome to my 11th video of my Info Beginners tutorial series Simple Calculator. In this video we're going to be making a simple calculator program. The program will start by asking the user to choose from one of the following actions addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and exit. Each of these options except exit will then ask for the first number which we will then take using the stdn.readLine procedure and store it to a variable. And the same will happen for the second number and then the program will display the result based on the action chosen then in a new line it will display the same string asking you to choose your action again this will repeat until you type exit here using the comments i have simple calculators program flow first we're going to be using a while loop this while loop will always output choose your action addition subtraction and so on then we will type one of these options here I have provided addition that is going to ask for the first number. We will give it some number, five in this example, then a second number, then it will display result. Then it's going to give us our options again. And if we type exit, it's going to exit the program. All of these actions are going to be made inside a case statement that will be nested inside the while loop. Okay, let's start by declaring the necessary variables. First, we need an input variable to store the data that will be inputted in the terminal then we need two numbers for storing them for calculations these will be of type float because addition and subtraction also works on decimal numbers variable number two is float as well and then we need a result variable to store the result of calculations so this will be also be float okay now now let's make the while loop so while true it's going to be an infinite while loop because it needs to run forever until we type exit to exit it and first it's going to output our options so let's copy this text over here echo choose your action all the options and then we will take the input so let's make it in the previous line input is std in dot read line and this is it now let's run the program okay, choose your action now if we press enter it's going to repeat this and it's going to repeat indefinitely now whatever we will type it's going to repeat this is our basic while loop okay now we need a case statement so that once we type addition subtraction etc is going to do the actual addition the program flow that we described above so let's type case and we give it variable input then the first statement off will be addition in string addition then here it's going to first ask us for the first number let's use std out this time instead of echo so that we will be using less lines stdout.write and first number and then we take that number so number one we'll be taking stdn dot read line and then we need to parse it so let's import strudels import strudels now this is string so we parse it to float parse float then we do this again for the second number duplicate this change this to second number and here this one to number two this will take the first number and the second number now we need to display this and before displaying it we need to calculate this in a result variable so result will be number one plus number two now we echo this, echo result. And now let's run this. Okay, this one is not terminated. So since we don't have exit code in this loop yet, you gotta use control C to terminate it. Okay, let's run it again. Now if we type addition, first number, let's type some number, 10 and two, and it gives you 12. Okay, let's improve the output here for the result by adding result string and a comma for the second argument that will be result now let's run this uh, we gotta terminate it with control c and run it 
that again. Addition, first number, 55 is 55. Now let's do the same for all the other options, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We'll just copy and paste this code three times. Once, twice, and third time. Now we gotta unindent this. So back in space for all of them. should stop now okay we gotta change the names otherwise it's still gonna show us errors so subtraction multiplication multiplication and division now we gotta change the plus sign that we got here into a minus sign here then we need an asterisk for multiplication and a slash for division. Oh, any prompt? Okay, and into this. Now it should work. Gotta terminate it with the shortcut again, Control C, and run it again. Now addition 5 and 10 is 15. Now subtraction, subtraction 20 and 30, negative 10. Okay. Now multiplication, multiplication, 5 and 5 should be 25, 25, and division, no, 10 divided by 2 should be 5, there it is, now let's terminate, terminate this, now for the last part of the program we need to give an option of exit so that will, it will break this loop, so we will need to be using control C, so let's type another off, off exit score sign and here we're going to use a new keyword called break what this does is breaks out of a while loop a for loop and a block statement which we will talk in some future video this should break out of this while loop and end the entire program now let's run this okay addition 5, 2, 7, now let's type exit, and it exits. You will know that it exits when you get this output, the location of your program. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. If you had any problems with any part of the video, let me know in the comment section. Code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun.